Have you ever run your fingernail along your teeth right where they meet the gums and felt a little ditch? A notch? You know it's not a cavity, but it feels sharp, and it definitely wasn't there a few years ago. What is it? Many people automatically think it's from brushing too hard, and sometimes that is part of the story. But very often, the real cause is something completely different. Something happening from the inside out, driven by incredible forces you might not even know are there. In this video, we're going to break down exactly what causes these notches. Specifically, a little known but very common condition called dental abfraction. And most importantly, we'll cover what you can actually do about it. Before we dive into abfraction, it's important to understand that there are three main culprits that can cause these gum line lesions. Think of them as three different suspects in a mystery. The first and most well known is abrasion. This is exactly what it sounds like, mechanical wear and tear. It's the classic brushing too hard scenario, especially with a hard bristled toothbrush and an aggressive back and forth scrubbing motion. Abrasion typically creates wide, shallow, rounded out scoops in the tooth. They look more like a smooth ditch that's been dug out over time. A quick tip here is to think of brushing as massaging your gums and teeth, not scrubbing a floor. A soft bristled brush and gentle pressure are all you need. The second culprit is erosion. This isn't mechanical, it's chemical. Erosion is the dissolution of your tooth enamel by acid. This can come from external sources like a high consumption of soda, sports drinks, or citrus fruits. It can also come from internal sources like acid reflux or GERD, where stomach acid comes into contact with the teeth. Eroded lesions often have a very smooth, glossy, almost melted appearance, and they typically affect several teeth at once. A simple but powerful habit to combat this is to simply rinse your mouth with plain water after having something acidic. So, we have abrasion from scrubbing and erosion from acid. But what if your notches are different? What if they're sharp, V-shaped, or look like a clean, deep wedge has been taken out of the tooth? That's when we need to look at our third and most surprising cause, abfraction. This is the big idea. Abfraction is not caused by something happening to the outside of your tooth. It's essentially a stress fracture. To understand this, I want you to imagine a simple plastic ruler. If you take that ruler and gently bend it back and forth, over and over again, where does it eventually get weak and snap? Not at the ends you're holding, but right in the middle, where the flexing stress is the greatest, believe it or not. Your tooth does the same thing, just on a microscopic level. The forces in your mouth are incredibly powerful. When you clench your jaw or grind your teeth, especially at night, your teeth are put under immense pressure. This pressure causes the tooth to flex ever so slightly, near its narrowest and most vulnerable point, which is right at the gum line. This repeated microscopic flexing night after night, year after year, puts the enamel and the underlying tooth structure under enormous strain. Just like the ruler, the crystalline structure of the enamel can't handle the tension, and tiny pieces begin to flake away or fracture off. That's where the word abfraction comes from. It's a fracture caused by abnormal stress. So what's generating all this destructive force? There are two primary engines that drive abfraction. The first is bruxism, the clinical term for clenching and grinding your teeth. This is the big one. The average person exerts about 150 pounds of pressure per square inch when chewing. But a person who grinds their teeth at night can exert up to 1,000 pounds of pressure. That's a staggering amount of force. Many people have no idea they even do it because it happens while they're asleep. They might wake up with a sore jaw, headaches, or tired facial muscles and not connect it to their teeth. The second major cause is malocclusion, which is just a fancy term for a bad bite. In an ideal bite, the forces of chewing and clenching are distributed evenly across all your teeth. But if your teeth are misaligned, crowded, or don't come together properly, one or two teeth might be taking on way more force than they were ever designed to handle. They become the first point of contact, the stress-bearing heroes of your bite. And that concentrated off-axis force makes those specific teeth flex much more, 
leading directly to abfraction. And this isn't just a cosmetic issue. That little knot you feel is a warning sign that your tooth is under stress and it can lead to some very real problems. The most immediate consequence for many people is sensitivity. The outer layer of your tooth is enamel, which is like a hard protective shell. Underneath that is a layer called dentin, which is much softer and has thousands of microscopic tubules that lead directly to the nerve in the center of the tooth. An abfraction lesion is a hole in that protective enamel shell. It exposes the dentin. That's why a breath of cold air, a sip of ice water, or eating something sweet can hit that spot and cause that sharp, unpleasant zing. The pathway to the nerve is wide open. Second, that notch creates an increased risk of decay. The V-shape of an abfraction lesion is a perfect custom-made hiding spot for plaque and bacteria. It's very difficult for the bristles of your toothbrush to get all the way down into that sharp angle to clean it effectively. The bacteria that sit there produce acid, and because the softer dentin is already exposed, a cavity can start and progress much more quickly in that spot. Of course, there are also the aesthetics. As the notches get deeper, they can become stained and look yellow or brown because the underlying dentin is naturally more yellow than enamel. It can also create the illusion that your gums are receding more than they actually are making the teeth look longer and sometimes older. And finally, in severe and untreated cases, the tooth is structurally compromised. The notch is a significant weak point. This can, over a very long time, lead to a larger piece of the tooth actually fracturing off. Now, those consequences sound serious, and they are. In a moment, we are going to cover the professional treatments your dentist can offer to manage the forces causing this damage and repair the notches themselves. But while those solutions are crucial for managing the symptoms, a growing body of research is targeting the very foundation of oral health, the microscopic environment where these problems get their start. It turns out that a hidden bacterial biofilm can dramatically accelerate issues like sensitivity and decay, especially in the weak spots created by a fraction Scientists recently discovered a completely different way to tackle this, and it involves a strange 10-second red dental foam cleanse. You can do at home to help break down that hidden biofilm and remineralize your teeth overnight. To see exactly how it works, I've linked the full presentation for you. You can watch it now by pointing your phone's camera at the QR code on your screen. I've also pinned the link right at the top of the comments below this video. All right. Now let's talk about the essential professional solutions you can and should discuss with your dentist for abfraction. So now, for the most important part, what can you do about it? The great news is that this is a very treatable problem, and the solutions involve both professional treatment and at-home awareness. First and foremost, a professional diagnosis is key. Your dentist is the only one who can look at the shape of the lesions, analyze your bite, and ask the right questions to determine if the primary cause is abrasion, erosion, or abfraction. Very often, it's actually a combination of these factors working together. Once abfraction is identified as the main culprit, the goal is to treat the cause, not just the symptom. If the engine driving the problem is grinding, the most common and effective treatment is a custom-made night guard. This is a device you wear while you sleep. It doesn't necessarily stop you from grinding, but it acts like a cushioned helmet or a shock absorber for your teeth. It separates them and distributes the immense forces, preventing the teeth from flexing and protecting them from further damage. If the cause is a bad bite, your dentist might recommend a procedure called an occlusal adjustment. This involves very subtly and precisely reshaping the biting surfaces of a few teeth to help distribute the force more evenly. In more complex cases, orthodontics like braces or Invisalign might be recommended to fix the underlying alignment issue for good. Now, what about repairing the damage that's already there? For the notch itself, the most common solution is simple and effective. Dental bonding. A dentist can clean the area 
and then fill in the notch with a tooth colored composite filling material. This does three things at once. It seals off the exposed dentin, which dramatically reduces or eliminates sensitivity. It smooths out the tooth surface, making it easier to clean and preventing plaque buildup. And it restores the tooth's original shape and appearance. Finally, at home, being aware of stress is helpful. Stress is a major trigger for clenching and grinding. Incorporating stress management techniques into your life, whether it's exercise, meditation, or just taking more breaks, can have a real positive effect on your jaw muscles. And of course, always continue using a soft toothbrush and gentle pressure. Because even if the main problem is a fraction, you don't want to add abrasion on top of it. So let's recap. Those sharp V-shaped notches at your gum line aren't always from your toothbrush. More often than not, they are stress fractures called abfractions, caused by microscopic flexing forces from clenching, grinding, or a misaligned bite. The key takeaway is this. An abfraction lesion is a physical sign that your bite is under too much stress. The best thing you can do is to become an advocate for your own health. At your next dental visit, point to the spot and ask your dentist, could this be an abfraction? That one simple question can open up a crucial conversation about the forces in your bite and your long-term dental health. If this video helped you understand your teeth a little better, a like is always appreciated. Subscribe for more clear, no-nonsense dental explanations. And please leave a comment below if you have any questions or have experienced this yourself. Thanks for watching.